Beauty Babes, welcome welcome back to my channel. As you can see by today's title of the video, I'm going to be showing you this Ordinary Serum Foundation. Um, I went to Ulta a couple of days ago to get another product that I will be trying out here soon on my channel. And I saw this and I know that they have like a regular foundation, but this is the serum one. I didn't know they had two. I know they had a foundation, but I didn't know they had two of them. So I ended up picking the serum foondation in 3.1Y. It is in the color dark and it's for yellow undertones. Um, I'm kind of skeptical that this won't match me. Uh, I don't really know what my undertone is, honestly, but the other ones all look too red or too cool. So this one was the one that looked the closest match. So, I mean, I guess we'll see when I blend it out and everything. But yeah, I'm quite excited to try this because, you know, Ordinary is a skincare brand. And so I would just think if they had good skincare products and, you know, maybe they'll have a cute little, you know, foundation or whatever. So we're going to get right into it. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. Okay, so getting right into it, I already showed you the box and everything. Um, this is a light coverage foundation. I believe this is going to be more like a skin tint, which is kind of why I got it because yeah, I don't really do the whole full coverage foundation thing. I just haven't gotten it to look right on me just yet. Uh, so light coverage are typically the way to go for me. Um, it just turns out better for me. But... This is what it looks like, as you can see, like in the bottle. It's kind of a frosted bottle, which I kind of hate these when they put these on foundations and everything because you can't really see inside. And, you know, due to the COVID and everything, you can't do any swatches or anything. So obviously it'll suck if this uh, isn't a color match. I know how to change the undertone in my foundation, so I could do that. I probably won't do it this video, but, you know, I could do that. Um, but as you can see, I'm shaking it because on the directions, it says shake well before you use, dispense a small amount into the palm or the back of your hand, smooth on and blend thoroughly, smooth on and blend throughout the face, ideally outward from the midpoint of the face. If irritation occurs, cease use and consult a physician. So, um, I'm guessing they saying to, it will be best to apply it with your hands. So, I mean... I don't really like applying foundation with my hands because I don't really like it. I don't like I don't like my hands being all messy, especially if I'm gonna do the rest of my face. So I have a sponge here and I have a brush here. I'm gonna use both just to see um, what'll look better. I use a sponge on this side of my face and a brush on this side of my face just to see, just because I'm curious. So um, this is it. This foundation has 30 milliliters one fluent ounce of foundation in this uh little bottle it's quite liquidy like as i'm shaking it up i can hear it like i hear it moving around in there um but i like how it's a pump the fact that it doesn't have a cap though kind of concerns me just because oh it locks that's exactly what i was about to say it concerns me because i was like i just you know don't want to have a pump but it locks like if you twist it as you can see like it's twisting and this way it's like locked wow that's kind of cool okay anyway i'm gonna squeeze out some onto my face oops locked it actually wow so i'm gonna squeeze some out actually you know what i'm not even gonna play like that or as a brush i'm probably gonna use a brush to spread this out on my face just because i really am not trying to make a mess so I'm gonna pump some oh, that was very liquidy oh that looks light that definitely looks way too light I may be able to fix it with like bronzer and everything so you know let me not trip I'm gonna start blending this in this side I'm gonna do with the sponge and everything um so we'll see how it looks as I'm blending it in huh shockingly as it's blending the color isn't horrible actually 
it looks a lot lighter than expected when I put it on my face but as I'm blending it out on my cheeks it doesn't look that bad actually it is light coverage it did provide a little bit of coverage as you can see like I have like this big dark mark right here and I didn't put much on you saw how much I put I didn't put much on at all I just wanted to see you know how this actually was but now I'm gonna take the brush and blend out this side and see you know what's going on over here typically I like to use a brush for my foundation just because it gives more of a fuller coverage and whatnot I'm also gonna use it for my forehead because just why not I'm mostly paying attention to my cheeks so my forehead never really matters to be honest I rarely ever put a uh, foundation on my forehead in the first place but I did forget to say um, I have on no other makeup but I do have my brows done so that's the only thing that I have on I have on a concealer mascara anything like that because um, I really wanted to just do my base first before doing that but I'm not going to show the rest of my face on camera just because I don't want you know everything to be too long but I'm going to add a little bit more on my skin just to see if I can get a little bit more coverage just because just a little bit like like I said I don't like anything too dramatic I'm just you know like I said very curious this is what it's looking like um just for the heck of it I'm gonna use uh, probably my brush for the rest of the face if we're being honest um, just cuz I don't know I like the coverage that my brush gives me a little more I just feel like you know obviously the sponge probably is soaking up some product the sponge isn't doing too bad like as you can see like there is quite a bit of a product being soaked into my sponge especially since this sponge is a cream color but actually it's not horrible actually it, it did provide more coverage to that spot like I actually wanted it to per usual this is actually nice I'm no like super professional makeup person I'm just a person who really likes to play in their makeup but you know, as for um, you know foundations that I've tried, especially when it comes to skin tints, I actually really like this one. This kind of reminds me of the what is that? What is that foundation called? The NYX Total Control Drop Foundation, in the sense of how liquidy it is per se. But other than that, like. It, it seems pretty great like the color match honestly isn't bad like this is actually the best color match of foundation that I've ever had uh, which is a little shocking but very happy because I hate getting the wrong color foundation As you can see, everything's all nice and smooth. I'm gonna kind of lean in a bit. I don't know how to, you know, smooth out my skin and everything, like how some beauty influencers do and stuff like that. So this is purely just, you know, what you see is what you get. Like this is how it's looking really on my skin. Um, as you can see, I left my under eyes completely bare because when I put concealer on, I don't like to put foundation on because I noticed it can make it a little more cakey. So I just have on my base right now. And the match is pretty good if I do say so myself like I'm not mad at it even looking in my mirror and everything like it it looks good it does not look bad at all it doesn't feel like I'm wearing anything on my face at all like I I wouldn't be able to tell if I had any foundation on like it doesn't feel cakey it doesn't feel drying I wouldn't say it feels hydrating either though like it just feels like skin like it doesn't feel like anything like I have dry skin so 
when my face gets dry, I notice when my face is extra hydrated, you know, I also notice. And that is one thing I can definitely say that also reminds me of the NYX Total Control Drop Foundation is just like how that one did, this one feels like there's absolutely nothing on my face and it looks very, very skin-like. So anyway, this is the base. I'm going to do the rest of my face and then come back and see how it reacted well or not well with my other products because I'm curious because the other products I'm using will not be from The Ordinary, obviously. So, you know, I'm, I'm just want to see how the, you know, different formulas will react with each other. So I will be back once I do that. And yeah, we'll talk about it later then. All right, beauty babe. So this is my face. This is how everything is looking. As you can see, um, like I said, still undete undetectable, like I was saying before. And everything else I put on top blended out beautifully, like in seamless. Um, I rate this foundation a 10 out of 10, honestly. Like I really do. This foundation is good. Go cop. It was like, it was like seven bucks, give or take, at um, Ulta. No more than seven bucks, I'll say that. Um, at Ulta is where I got it. I know not all of them have it. So if you could even go on the Ordinary website, once again, this is the light coverage ordinary serum foundation absolutely beautiful like i am in love with how it looks and it just feels amazing even me like touching my skin i'm not really getting much payoff here that i typically do with most foundations but hey i'm no real beauty guru i just really wanted to come and give my little two cents and kind of try it out on camera with you guys but yeah, I definitely believe this is a foundation that you should definitely go and get, especially if you like a more natural, my face the better type of look. Because I, like I said, rate this a 10 out of 10. And I'm shocked that I finally have a foundation that matches my face. Thank God. But anyway, we have come to the end of today's video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye.